From performing with Zydeco bands to working alongside Johnny Cash, Waylon Jennings, and even Rob Zombie singer-songwriter Jesse Dayton has more than 50 songs licensed to film and TV. He is from Beaumont and performing tonight in Houston. Joining us now, please welcome Jesse himself. Welcome to the show. Hey, guys. Thanks for being here. I, I've said it earlier, but I love your old school Astros gear. Oh, the vintage yeah. is the way to go. Yeah. You actually, you were just saying, you had the original sweater. I did. I had the original sweater, hat, the whole thing. I went to opening day when I was a kid. And, the, you know, I love the Astros. So we're going to try to beat the Indians today. Oh, it's going to happen. Yeah. It's happening. You have such a great story because your love of music started at a young age. When you were yeah. playing guitar with these Zydeco bands, yeah. you were you were underage, so like sneaking into these sneaking yeah. clubs, right? Right? Yeah, yeah, totally. And I mean, we actually did play like two different clubs that had the chicken wire fence in front of it. No. Yeah, yeah, that was still happening up until like I think '90 or oh my gosh. something like that, the late '80s or whatever. And I was like a, uh, I was a little young kid, and um, but there was this really famous um, producer, record producer from Houston named Huey P. Mo, and he produced. Uh, Wasted Days and Wasted Nights, you know that? And he did uh, a bunch of hit songs for Freddie Fender and Doug Somm and oh, Jerry Lee wow. Lewis and George Jones and all that. And he, um, I begged him to produce me and he said, well, he had a thick Cajun accent. He said, nah, bro, I'm not gonna produce you, but I'm gonna let you, you're a pretty good little guitar player. So he brought me in and I played on this Rock and Dopsy, uh, which th th he was the guy who went on to have that Don't Mess With My Toot Toot. Sadako song, which yeah. was like a worldwide hit. Um, and that was kind of how I, you know, got playing guitar in the studio and got out of the clubs. And You know, you know. Your, your whole background in music is, is such a kind of a braided twist between punk, country, yeah, a little bit of weird. rock. I mean, from Rob Zombie to, I mean, you even yeah. toured our, um, with Social Distortion. Am yeah. I right or wrong on that? Yeah, with Social Distortion and X and. Um, oh my gosh. And uh, yeah, it's just been a weird thing. But I think because when I grew up in Beaumont, you know, it was kind of a night. All the cool stuff never really hit Beaumont. Right. You know, but there was cool stuff there, like colloquial stuff, like Zydeco and blues and and rhythm and blues and honky-tonk music, you know, classic old country, um, which we all kind of took for granted. But when I moved out and became a, a, you know, a guy who traveled the world, I realized that all these kids who grew up on classic rock in Des Moines or wherever they're from, they didn't right. have that kind of music that I had. Um, but I think just being thrown into the fire, you know, um, and plus I just like all kinds of music. And I think if you're a really good musician, you want to, try to play it all, play it don't all you? yeah that's super cool why choose when you can do it all let's talk a little bit about your show tonight because last time by the way jesse was here the show completely sold out so you're playing yeah. two performances yeah we're gonna we're gonna do the first one at seven it's gonna be an acoustic uh show different songs uh and then we're doing uh the second one will be electric so the first one will be more kind of like storyteller okay. uh songwriter uh, a little bit more laid back, which is a really good show because it gives me time to tell stories and set songs up. And the electric one will shred your face off, and you will love rock. It. You will rock out. Love it. You know? I love it. So you're seeing all phases of you, which I, I think mean, is very cool. It's cool. Yeah, I'm my, I'm basically my own opening act. I love it. It's super <laughs> cool. So if we want to get our faces shredded off tonight, yeah. again, those performances are happening at seven and nine thirty, right? Seven and um, nine thirty, Mucky Duck. Okay, and JesseDayton.com. Uh, that's the website to visit if you want to keep up with Jesse on social media. But you're about yeah. to sing a song for us, right? I think so. All right, we're going to take care of that. We'll put the information there on the screen to let you kind of do your walk. Awesome. Head on over there. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Jesse. And this song is called Mrs. Victoria. Yeah. Right? Miss Victoria. It's a song. Victoria. It's a song about a woman, African American woman, who helped raise me and live with my family. And uh, she was like my best buddy, and she turned me on to the blues when I was a little so kid cool. and taught me how to cook and and uh, you know, dip snuff and all kinds of crazy stuff. So <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Sweet potato 
just cooking in the kitchen on Sunday after church. She's humming along with the gospel station on the radio while she works. And through the house, you can hear her voice to the front porch sway. You can hear her choke up when the preacher mentioned Martin Luther King. She kept a place across town. Daddy pick her up in his big black Lincoln. All the neighbors they come out. She said, Oh, Mr. Robert Earl, you've been so good to me. Daddy hugged her neck, said, Whatever you need, darling, you're part of the family. It was a beautiful thing. It was a beautiful thing. Just a little boy. She hold my hand and we sing together. You are my sunshine and my joy. I said, Oh, Miss Victoria, well, uh, what can I say? Well, the black old lady was my best friend, made me what I am today. It was a beautiful thing. Jesse Dayton, everyone.